Okay, everybody, uh, back at the bench here with another arcade video, and um, I kind of became a little bit OCD. What we have here is a, a um, Taito uh, control panel. It was converted to a game called Air Busters, and um, when I looked it up, I believe I haven't actually played it in the game because I started um, deconverting it, but what my understanding is um, Air Busters is a eight-way uh, stick, two-player, eight-way stick. I've already removed the other one. And when I looked, took this control panel out and looked underneath, you, I could see that uh, this one joystick was basically cracked. It's missing part of its base and stuff. Um, the other one is, is sitting right there. It's not too much better. And they look like w Wicko's, or I think it's Wicko, or Wico, Wicko? I think it's Wicko, but um, all these arcade names, who knows how to pronounce anything, but anyway, I started looking at them, and I realized that these are probably not eight-way sticks, and that might have been the reason why um, this one kind of cracked in the pieces from its base, and I figured what we'd do is we'd take it apart. I'm going to save this harness, so I'm going to actually, uh, off-camera, um, mark, mark the wire so I know exactly what direction they are, because I'm going to use this as a, in a um, multi-tato uh, set up with the uh, I think the ZooQ board that plays Space Dungeon and it has two joysticks already you know so I figured I'd just use it um, and, um, temporarily at least so but I want to get actual real 8-way uh, Wicko sticks on here and also show you kind of like some of the differences between the knockoffs and the Wiccos that I have and some of the differences between 4-way and 8-way and, and those kinds of things so that's the plan. I'll be right back um, after marking this and, and taking this apart, and then we'll look at that joystick there as well. And I'm drinking uh, Dogfish Head IPA right there, 60 minutes. So we'll see how much I, I just opened it. So we'll know how long this video takes depending on how long, how much beer I drink, I guess. Okay, I got, right got the uh, harness and the buttons and the, and the sticks all off the control panel, and you can see I just label them real quick um, so when I resolder them to a new stick that I know where it's at anyway um, I figured I'd look at the holes right here so you can see what kind of game maybe this originally was and the original um, overlay is kind of there it's like orange and black speckles or something I don't know exactly what that might be I might have to look it up but the uh, the joystick was here and you can see the original buttons because it has like little notches if you guys can see that um, the, you can see the notches in the holes whereas this hole here you can tell was uh, cut after the fact right there and then here's the other um, hole that was uh, cut and then this is the hole with the notches so there's you know it could be you know like a jungle king maybe a zookeeper had a single joystick with one button over there. Um, anyway, I don't know what else. Not I think Elevator Action had two buttons. But anyway, that was the original control panel. And then uh, I might take this off just so you guys could, or not so you guys, so I could actually see what the heck it originally was. Or maybe somebody knows what that, that kind of color right there with the original control panel is. Okay, so, um, so basically what we have is this is the this is the stick that was uh, busted up pretty bad, and you can see. Let me get that out of the way. You can see how it, you know, just cracked. The base is just cracked all to heck. Um, and if you look here, see if I can get a good shot of that. Might have to take out the. The joysticks but you can see it's kind of a diamond shape the hole um, which would indicate um, that it was designed to be a four-way stick and on the top side it also kind of has a diamond shape now granted it's worn out pretty badly um, because probably because people were trying to do eight way with it but this and then the stick the actuator on that you can see that it has like a little indentation and then it gets fatter. That type of actuator is for eight way. So 
what they might have done is taken a four-way stick and put an eight-way actuator on it but this is not an original um, Wicco stick um, and there's a, several reasons why and I'll get into that in a little bit later but uh, let me set this up on the tripod and kind of show you with the one that has the base kind of together how hard it is to kind of get it into well maybe I can do it with one hand here but if you go at an angle it's very hard to get this you know that's straight up straight down and then when you go at angles it's very hard you know because of that four way the diamond shape of the of the top part there you see the hole there instead of being round it's kind of more more diamond shaped and there's a terrible shadow do you see like that and then also on the underside there's a it's diamond shaped as well so I'm, I'll take off these switches and show that real quick okay so you can kind of see how the, that four-way the bottom side is definitely more of a diamond shaped and if you look real close see if I, you can see it you can see kind of like how hard you know it must have been to get it in the eight into the corners where it's flatter you can see like real black marks where people are trying to get it into the uh, into the edges and stuff can you see that um, with this stick here you know see if you can see it this way like that so you, go, you when you're going up and down and then left and right like this it's fine and then when you go into the corners it's kind of hitting that square square part you know what I mean I'm sure the operator just you know didn't have any eight-way sticks and but this game had to kind of suck if it was meant for eight ways because it's it you can get it to actuate um, at an angle but I mean it's not smooth it's especially when you're going in a circular motion it's kind of herky-jerky a little bit so anyway I think that's why um, eventually kind of you know got busted up and broken pretty badly the other thing I was going to show is, um, again, this is not a Wicco stick, but it's kind of designed the almost the exact same way, very close. But this uh, is the centering grommet, and the center came comes completely out. So that's that's obviously not good. <laughs> so um, this thing is is trash. I mean, it's not going to center any joystick at all. Um, but obviously, I guess the washer and this part might be still good. And I don't think that base can be saved. I mean, it's cracked. One one thing that's kind of interesting is there is, I believe, metal. Um, like, they, they mold the plastic around a piece of metal that's in here. So it does have, you know, it's not just plastic. Um, only the outside part is just plastic. And then the middle part is actually um, metal with plastic surrounding it. Um, and you can kind of see in there maybe a little bit on that as well so anyway so that's kind of um, part you know this is how you kind of can tell you know the, the normal um, Wicco sticks this is a normal eight-way right here uh, it does say and now I'll show this a little bit clearer because it's probably the light but it does usually say patent pending or it'll say Wicco on it the other thing is these the type of um, leaf switch holders are just you know they just the leaf switches just kind of clip in there whereas these are are screw in type they screw into the um, underside um, let's see also on this leaf, leaf switch you'll see let's see if you can see that you'll see like a metal support bar for one of the the, the leaf switches um, to I guess to help with the adjustment and on some of these other leaf switches you don't have that on that one you see there's no uh, on this side there should be like a, an extra piece of metal there to help support um, adjusting this and keep it in an adjust keeping it within adjustment maybe this manufacturer didn't feel that was necessary I guess so that's another um, difference there and that's why I actually had to desolder everything because I I would have loved to kept these leaf switches soldered in 
but unfortunately they don't just pop right in to this style of um, holder which kind of sucks that means because now I have to actually resolder or re um, put new connectors on it uh, let's see what else I wanted to cover actually what I was going to do is um, I think I kind of demonstrated you know how hard it is to get into the corners right yeah I did that one more time maybe you can kind of see it's like it's you got to really you know push it into the edge to get it even with the eight-way actuator um, because it's got a four-way stick so I want that's a here's another one actually um, and this is very similar but it has see if you can see it, it has like an a symbol here See there, there you go. See that little A with the circle around top. I don't know exactly what that is, um, or what manufacturer that is. This ball is a is a mess. It's all caved in and stuff. This is also a non um, Wicco, but it does. It is a four way. It has the diamond shaped top. But on this one, you can see that the actuator is different. It's a little bit thinner than this actuator here which kind of means that it is a, a four-way so like the four-way um, actuators are are thin let me see where's the other one at if you can see this this actuator here is fat towards the bottom and then thin at the top the four-way is like this thickness at, from the top all the way through the bottom and that's what you see on a stick like this I think they are usually black but I, I'm not positive about that but it is thin all the way around and that the other thing about this four-way stick is the underside is completely round um, but you can't really go in to get it to do a, an eight-way connection I mean you can but it's very kind of very hard well, actually it's a little bit a little bit harder but if I put an eight-way actuator on that that would that would be a lot better because um, it is restricted from the top a little bit but not from the bottom because the bottom is completely round and the, but the actuator smaller so that eight-way actuator would be fatter so it would make it easier to hit those diagonals and then lastly and I, I'll probably disassemble this one um, because this is a, a true Wicco stick four-way well, I guess I and it has um, it is a white actuator that's on it but it's thin um, it's thin and I'll show you I'm gonna take it apart and you can tell by the type of uh, leaf switches leaf switch holders also it says Wicco on it and on the top side you have the diamond shaped you can see that it's kind of hard to see with the with the ball in there but you do have a diamond shaped pattern to like really kind of restrict the diagonals and make you feel you know directionally up is very solid right and left are very solid but on the bottom side it is not directional it, it's uh, is it uh, I guess it is actually directional I thought it was more rounded, but I guess it is um, also directional. So the bottom is also a four-way. And I'm going to take this apart and show that a little bit clearer here in a second. Okay, I figured I got. I have to disassemble these <laughs> um, anyway because uh, some of them have bad centering grommets. Um, some of them have cracked bases and stuff. So if some of them have broken. Um, I've just you know, broken uh, leaf switches and stuff. So. I figured since I was going to disassemble them and, and probably clean several of these, I'll just go through it real quick. This was the first one uh, that had a broken base, and you can see that it has um, the top side is definitely four way, diamond shaped um, from a base standpoint, and the bottom side is also four way. Um, this is a knockoff Wicco stick and this is the stick that came out of it and you can see the actuator that type of actuator I believe is just for eight-way um, sticks but you probably would never know the difference um, between the sticks 
there is one small difference that I might not be able to show on camera is that there's a little divot on the Wicko sticks just below the center line somewhere on here and maybe I could I don't think I'll be able to show it to you but uh, I think Ty has a on his YouTube channel I was watching him restore one of these sticks and, and he's the one that pointed that out and then also credit to uh, Andrew B on uh, Kalo V on Claw that uh, he he basically redoes a lot of these uh, Wicko sticks and I, I have a few of his actually um, and he does great work too so you can check out some of his threads so anyway here's uh, another example of a knockoff stick uh, again it's the same as this one it's four-way restrictor on the bottom four-way restrictor on the on the top base um, but the actuator on it was an eight-way actuator you can probably can't see it very well like that but and the uh, obviously the um, leaf switches are not the kind that uh, you would normally see on, on a Wicko stick. So, but this stick actually works fine. It'd be fine for a four-way stick. Um, I have to take it apart just to make sure that the uh, centering grommet's okay. But it does seem like it centers. If you see, it kind of comes back, but it's a little loose. So, and there's a, a bad centering grommet there. This is the uh, second knockoff. Try to get out of the shadow here. And the underside restrictor is round, so you you have you can tell the leaf switches are um, you know not the Wicko style for what they call these sticks. I think these are like three and a half inch or something. They're not four inches like Robotron, but um, they're the thicker kind of sticks. And Wicko also made a skinny. I'm going to show that in a little bit. Um, but why did I bring that up? I'm not sure. But you can see this restrictor is, is round on the bottom, but on the on the top plate with that A, it's four-way. And then it had the thinner actuator, this one was black, um, that is more common with a four-way stick on this on the on the um, the thick version of the stick. This is an eight-way kind of actuator, and then this is like a four-way actuator. But the stick is actually the exact same. And then if you want to see like how you can see that the grommet, the centering grommet on this one's pretty is pretty bad. It might still do its job um, side to side, maybe. But I wouldn't I wouldn't trust it. Look how dirty that is. Okay, and now we have let's see here, we have this is a Wicko eight-way stick. Um, and you can see that it says Wicko. I didn't take the um, leaf switches out. It says patent pending Wicko Corporation. And what else does it say? I'm looking through the viewfinder. Made in the USA. And the black ones, not always, but usually are, I think, the eight way. It's not always. But you can see that it has the the restrictor is round on the top on the bottom. This is the bottom with the leaf switches. It's round, and then on the base or the top part, um, it's also round. So what you would expect to see would be I don't actually have one um, the stick for this one, but you would see this thicker style actuator. And then over here, oh, another difference you will notice in the hardware is on the knockoffs, usually the screws that hold the uh, restrictor onto the base, um, dang, dropping stuff, you'll see it has like a pointy edge like a normal screw would, whereas on the Wickos, this looks a little odd because the, the head is kind of fatter than I would expect, but it's more like a machine screw bottom, if you can see that. Um, same way with this one here, which is a Wicko. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. You see it's a more of like a machine screw. The leaf switch here, you can see it has that metal support. That's a, a hint I got from Andrew B. on, on Clove 
um, as one of the differences in the leaf switches. Most of the Wicco's have, um, or all of them probably, have this kind of support piece of metal there. And also the plastic piece is, a, is like glued or fastened to the leaf switch itself. Let me see if I have, um, where is, do I have one over here? Yeah, this is an example like where there's no support um, piece of metal for that for that um, the bottom part of the leaf switch or whatever, and also that plastic part where the uh, stick rubs against. That actually isn't usually um, glued on to these. It's like screwed. It's held in with those screws um, to this mounting bracket. So that's also a little bit of the differences. Okay, so that's the leaf switches. Now this is a four-way. You can see it says um, patent pending Wicco Corporation made in the USA. It has the um, the uh, uh, where you uh, the, I guess what is that? What do you call this? Uh, leaf switch holders <laughs> that um, you know are just hold the leaf switch in place just by pressure by snapping in like snap in I guess uh, leaf switch holders. That's um something that's unique I guess to the Wicco sticks um, and here you can see the diamond shape here um, of the four-way joystick and it is gray so that, again you'll see the gray base with the four-way diamond shape restrictor on the bottom and here's the top and it also is diamond shaped and it's a little bit you know obviously these are used so they've been abused a little bit it might even be more obvious um, on a brand new one, um, but you definitely see the the four way um, there. You can almost see the metal outline right here of the metal that is encased in plastic. It's like a almost like a big metal washer or something that they basically encased in this plastic, and that's what gives it you know some um, rigidity in the in the middle, but definitely on the you know the outside it's just plastic. So it could crack. And then here's uh, the, the stick that came out of this four-way. And you can see the actuator. This one is clear, but it's totally different. It's not uh, It's the same thickness, you know, from top to bottom. And you have the little spring on it. And let me see if I can actually see that divot here. Yep. You can see the little divot. Oh, is that the divot? I assume that's the divot right there. Ty said that this is where they took it out of the mold. So that might be, you know, if you have an original um, Wicco stick, if you have this little divot, and again, it should be below the center line. On this one, it's a little bit, I don't really see that center line as much as the other ones either. So the, the, the formation of the ball might be slightly different. Whereas, let's see, this is the knockoff stick. It has like a little line right there going all the way around it almost like it's two pieces that they pushed together and sealed right there or something whereas maybe the the wicker might be a little bit different because I definitely don't sense that there's a a line there maybe there is but I can't see it but there's definitely that divot there and then we have um, kind of a good I can't really push this out with one hand but uh, this this centering grommet is definitely stiff as heck. <laughs> Some people don't like these sticks because they are stiff um, because of these grommets here. This thing, I mean, I can barely move the darn thing, um, but it's definitely good. It's not all crack, cracked up or anything. I think this one here is pretty decent too. A little bit of, am I right? Let me see. Yeah. I'm pushing out on it. And you don't see um, any cracks. I mean, it's definitely dirty, but um, it's it's in good shape, I think. Yeah. Okay, so the last... Let's see if there's anything else I wanted to talk about, because I have a ton of crap. Um, I got other... Here's another... So now you can just look at it. Okay, that's black. Most likely it's eight-way. It's got a circular... Um, restrictor on the top and bottom. That's an eight-way stick. 
here's one. We eyeball it. Okay, now we know the leaf switch holders are the snap-in style. Um, this one might... The bottom looks like it's round. So this might be, you know, the gray exception. Either that or they somebody bored it out. Hard to tell. Somebody, you know, an operator might have bored it out some. But the top side is definitely a diamond shaped. And the actuator is thin all the way through. So that's definitely originally a full way. Okay, here's one. It's black. Right here. And it has the eight-way restrictor. So you can see the difference of thickness towards the um, E-clip side versus gets thinner right where it goes up, up against the uh, bottom of the restrictor right there. Um, and it is round. Restrictor on the top and bottom. So that's definitely an eight-way. Super filthy. So like I said, I went a little OCD. I wanted to get some some sticks and then lastly I got some new old stock sticks here that are the skinnies and I will pause before I go through these but just to kind of show you um, the ball the stick size is totally different it ha it's still a wicko but now it has it's not the the thicker style stick so it definitely has a different leaf switch mounting um, apparatus doesn't say Wicco anywhere on the stick, which is kind of interesting. And I will dis well, I have these disassembled already, but I'll come back and show you that real quick. So this is the skinny one, and this is supposed to go on like Zookeeper, I guess, um, and some Tato games. Maybe so I think I have one on my Rockola cabinet too. I'll show you on the cabinet. It's an eyes cabinet. So okay, anyway. so here is this. Uh the skinny, um, new old stock Wicco stick, and I, I took one apart um, because I, I still, even though it's new old stock, there's some oxidation on it um, that I'm going to clean up and stuff and etc. But anyway, so what does that one look like? Um, so this is an actual eight-way, and if you can see that right there, you see that it's circular on the restrictor side. This is the part where the um, the leaf switches go to. Just looks like that um, where the leaf switch is attached to it. So it's it's circular. It is eight way. It's gray. Um, it does <clears throat> excuse me it does go together very similar to like another week ago. You have the the metal washer um, the very the flat side of the uh, can you see that? See, so yeah, it's the flat side of the um, centering grommet versus the cone side. The cone side goes, faces up towards the base. And then you have that washer there. Then you have the plastic washer that goes in um, closest to the, to the top. And it's also round restrictor on the base plate. So the, and if you can see here, these are the different sizes. This is this is a, a Wicco. Um, I think it's three and a half inch. Do you normally measure? Yeah, you measure from uh, I guess the ball to the tip there, and that's three and a half. This is one that's for Robotron, and you can see it's four inches, four inch stick. And then look how much smaller the skinny one is and I, I, from top to bottom it's four four inches from you know the bottom you're looking at like two and three quarters inch can you guys see that okay yeah and then from the top of the ball or like that you're looking at almost uh, four inches from the top of the ball all the way down <clears throat> um, but what is kind of interesting is, let me take a little sip of my beer here. I'm getting down towards the end. Is if you look at these, uh, the skinny Wicco base, 
That's what. It's almost identical here to my knockoff. There's my knockoff. Well, uh, it is a little bit different. Uh, you can see that the the holes that hold in the metal part, um, the encasing is slightly slightly different. There, here's another knockoff. Now this one's an eight way, so it's it's rounded, and these are are definitely diamond shaped, like a four way, like that. And if we look at the, this is the skinny Wicko um, restrictor on the bottom where the uh, leaf switches mount. Look at that. That's this is the knockoff. Over here's the knockoff. Here is the Wicko skinny. Again, this one's a four-way restrictor that was used as an eight-way, and you can tell it's kind of jacked up pretty bad. And this one over here is new old stock, so look how clean that circle looks. Looks awesome. Um, but it's very similar as far as like what it looks like on the underside. A little bit different color gray, but who knows what, what why that is. Um, okay, and oh yeah, I wanted to assemble this stick. So on the skinny um, Wicko, there's actually I don't think there's any spring. There's no room to even put a spring in, in here uh, on the skinny version. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is the um, eight way restrictor. Let's see if you can see that. That's the eight way restrictor for the skinny Wicko. I don't know if they made a four way restrictor. I mean, gosh darn it, this is the actuator. This is the um, eight-way actuator for the skinny Wicko, and basically, take this off, this E-clip. And you put the actuator on like this, with no, with no spring. goes just like that and there, here here it is on one of them right here so you can see you know you got full three 360 motion on this thing I probably have to adjust the leaf switches a little bit but yeah and there's no spring at all on it it just uh, this actuator rests straight up against the metal, um, the metal washer right there. So if I actually put it all back together real quick, it would go like this. Actually, I'll do that real quick. If you guys can see that yet, I'm not going to put the screws in, but just to show you. put the stick all the way through I might actually have to put one screw, one screw in to kind of hold it maybe two screws to just hold it real quick So when you, when you do that, you, you stick the stick in, let's see here, that's as, that's as far down as it goes, um, and it stops because of the indentation on the stick, dang it, it stops on because the uh, ind indentation on the stick right there, slide it in, and you put this actuator on 
this is the, again the eight way actuator and the eight way actuator doesn't I mean it doesn't it stops right at the washer it can't go any further at all and then the e-clip so just like that I know it's kind of odd angle there but you can see that there's just no spring there's no room for a spring there's no need for a spring um, there's two of them together two of the skinnies but if you look at let's see do I have a, an assembled one the difference of the you know of an eight-way hanging off of this thing is vastly different and I think that's why um, you know you definitely need a thin control panel because this ball is going to be sitting kind of like right on top of the control panel. There's not a lot of distance um, right here. So I guess I think that's all I wanted to show. Almost done with my beer. Um, what I might do is just show my... Uh, can you actually see it there? Foamed it up a little bit. Um, I think I'll finish... I'll show you the, um, the stick actually in the... The Rockola cabinet, the eyes cabinet, so you can see kind of how close and how small the ball is compared to the thicker uh, Wicko sticks that you normally see, like in uh, Robotron and, and others with the big with the big ball. I mean, look at the difference there. Crazy, huh? All right, be right okay, back. Just real quick, uh, technically not a Wicko stick, but. You get the idea of the size difference between the, the skinny, small uh, Wickos and the normal, you know, three and a half inch uh, Wickos. So, kind of get the idea of the size difference there. So, definitely a vast difference. So, let me go look at the eyes. All right, here's uh, my eyes cabinet, and you can see this grommet probably needs to be replaced, but. Um, should be a four-way. I can feel it that this is a four-way stick because I can. It's not like it's kind of a little bit herky-jerky, um, but it's definitely very low profile. Um, not doesn't sit off very high. And I will pause as I uh, flip this underside. Um, flip this over. So okay. We can so it. under underside, um, you can you might not be able to see it on the camera. Um, but it definitely, and I, it's hard for me to do this with one hand here. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Um, let me be right back. I'll get my light on. Okay, if I pull the leaf switches back, you might be able to see it. But um, this one definitely looks like it has a diamond shape. Do you see how it's kind of angled there? Uh, the restrictor plate is definitely diamond shaped on the bottom. I'm not going to take it all apart to just see what it looks like on the top, but it's definitely um, diamond shaped on the bottom there from a restrictor plate side. See if we can get in there. Kind of hard to see, but you can, there we go. You can see it there. The other thing is the actuator is it's like up, it's upside down. Or maybe I installed the other one upside down. Maybe the cone is supposed to go up towards the base. I might have installed the eight-way one wrong. This one has the uh, skinny side. Or maybe you just reverse it. So like this is for four-way. And then the cone faces the E-clip of, of the actuator for the eight-way. Does that make sense? Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research there because I can't tell if, if this actuator is cone shaped or not. It does look cone shaped. Interesting. Uh, but anyway, you can see that the, it is the um, screw in style leaf switches. The leaf switches do have the uh, support piece of support metal there um, for adjusting, etc. So th that's there. Let's see. Looks like it might be off on one of them. Um, as an example, so anyway, this is a four-way Wicko, Wicko skinny um, style stick.
And you can see the difference between that and the ones that say patent pending or actually showing the patent on the bottom. So hopefully that helps somebody. And um, I think that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.